Welcome to Campus Insiders Oregon. I'm Jill Savage. Oregon has one final game here at Matthew Knight Arena tonight, and it's anyone's guess whether or not it'll sell out. Most of the Duck games this year have been accompanied by thousands of empty seats, despite the fact that the team has been ranked in the top 25 for weeks and in a battle for the Pac-12 title. It's a scenario that was as unheard of in these days of Freddie Jones and the likes of the Big Three. Sean Shoppy has a special look at the nest the Ducks used to call home just a few short years ago. Each day, hundreds of Oregon students walk right by them. Most never noticing the names or thinking twice about their stories. It might seem odd to some to have a cemetery sitting at the doorway of a university, but the simple truth is some of these underground neighbors have been here longer than the school. However, the largest tombstone in this graveyard has only been here for a few years. Just like the rest of the residents buried here, it too has been relegated to a memory. It only seems fitting now that Matt Court's resting place sits just a few feet from Pioneer Cemetery. The dark shadows that now fill its hallways, the plywood that now cover its windows, signatures of what was similar to the faces sculpted atop many of the monuments just a few feet away. And here's the high ball screen, it throws it inside, there's Dunn again for that great slam. Great. The wars that were fought inside Matt Court, though, did not involve life or death. However, the raucous crowds that filled at each game night might have felt otherwise. Now that quarter's long three, and nails it. The majesty of this arena can't be seen with the naked eye. Built in 1927, it did not have any of the modern day amenities. The doorways to the players' locker rooms weren't even tall enough to accommodate some of the seven foot warriors that did battle here. The architect unknowingly built a court whose floor literally moved underneath the players' feet when the students began their chants. It was the pit, a home court advantage like no other. Its upper decks were built so close to the action that they felt like nothing more than elevated floor seats. Modern it was not. It was built on heart, a will of its own, a magical aura that fans could not resist. In the college basketball world, it was the old rim on the Indiana farm that Larry Bird learned to shoot free throws on. Now, though, it shares the same fate as the memorials that sit across from it. Those same students, slowly but surely, forgetting its stories, forgetting its name, forgetting the history that once echoed through its halls. Matt Court now settling into its new home, its tradition now ready to rest in peace. For now, the building is used for some PE classes and volleyball tournaments. The school is still looking into how they want to best utilize the space. For Campus Insiders Oregon, I'm Jill Savage.